So it's 2025 and you're on Amazon browsing for a new router and you come across the gaming ones and you think to yourself, do these things actually work? Well, Asus sent over their latest, the GSBE18000. Granted, the naming scheme's not there, but it's got Wi-Fi 7, tri-band support, more than gigabit LAN with loads of ports, and most of the gaming features you should need. So, should you consider one, and will it help you win games? My name's Alex, this is TechFlow, let's dive in. So we all know the word gaming gets tossed around quite a lot, but this device actually has some gaming specific features that can help you win games. So let's cut the fluff and talk about these first. So scenario one, you're mid-match and your sibling in the other room decides to start an upload to YouTube and then bam, lag city. To mitigate this, it has what's called the game accelerator, which is basically Asus's fancy way of saying QoS, quality of service. Simply, this will prioritize the packets coming from the device on the network, like your gaming PC that is gaming, over any of the other network traffic going on, making sure your game will stay lag free, even if someone starts a massive download or upload. Scenario two, you wanna push things a little bit further and get the best connection you can to the game servers that you're playing on. Under the gaming tools, they basically have what's called OpenNAT, which will help you in port forwarding for your game servers, so you can hopefully get that OpenNAT status. Now, I would like to mention older gaming routers had something called the Game Radar or similar. Everybody called it something different. This was basically a sort of geo filter, which only let you connect to game servers that were closest to you or that you had a good connection to. That feature specifically isn't found in this model, but to be honest, I think that's a good thing because more often than not when you were playing around with this feature it would block connection to game servers entirely meaning that you'd be sat there trying to get into games and it just wouldn't find any unless your broadband coming in is really terrible there really isn't much you can ask your router to do as far as prioritizing packets now the setup was super simple you unbox it plug it in connect to its default Wi-Fi open a browser go to its IP address and you're done one thing I've always loved Aces for is this setup process and the sheer amount of ways you can run their routers. They can be routers or they can be access points or AI bridges or they can repeat public Wi-Fi. It's awesome to be able to purchase a device and use it in the exact way that you want to use it is what I'm trying to say. It guides you through setting up your WAN or internet connection then you make some Wi-Fi networks and you're basically good to go. Over the last week of using this device though I've really just enjoyed the vast amount of features that it comes with especially for the price point. Now it's dead simple to set up a gaming dedicated Wi-Fi network that can actually be quite useful. It gives you a one-click setup for a basic Wi-Fi network to take care of priority, open NAT, QoS, all in one place. So you can have a dedicated SSID for just your gaming PC and console that has MLO, use VPNs or specific open NAT configurations so that your gameplay is smooth and uninterrupted. It's got Wi-Fi 7 and yes, all three bands, Wi-Fi Seven doesn't mean it comes with six gigahertz, but this device does. You get all three and it's blazing fast. You can split the bands, do guest networks, make a prioritized gaming Wi-Fi if you wanted. And Asus are also touting AFC with this, automatic frequency coordination. It basically lets the six gigahertz spectrum use a higher power output by coordinating with some servers that will allow it to do so. I'm not really sure how it works because it's brand new tech and it's only available in the US, but it's great to see this coming to devices in 2025. Another notable takeaway as well is its design. A lot of routers that tout gaming features, etc., come with massive bodies and loads of antennas, whereas this would be mistaken for a mini ITX gaming PC if it was sat on your desk. It really is that inconspicuous, and I really like that. I'm not a fan of huge antennas. I like an all-in-one unit like this. It looks way better. And this glyph on the front, you can change the settings in the OS. The camera will not do this justice at all. It looks great. Wired performance, again, another solid takeaway. Asus pulled the same move they do with all of their range toppers where they're including 2.5G WAN ports and seven 2.5G LAN ports. There's also two dedicated gaming ports 
ports which will get priority over the rest of the network. So if you're running a NAS, a streaming box and your gaming PC, this should be able to handle it without having to buy an extra network switch. And above all that, I was genuinely impressed with the amount of expert-like features you get on this device. For example, there's antivirus built right in. You can create a separate Wi-Fi network for your smart home. You can do dual WAN on this device, meaning two internet connections. And you have the option to fail over or load balance these connections if you'd like. And you could also tether your phone to it via USB. It has a built-in DNS and ping tester, so you can pick the fastest DNS servers for your area. And real-time traffic flows and charts, which are invaluable when you're trying to figure out what's going on on the network. So all that's to say, if you've just got two devices and all you're trying to do is watch Netflix, yeah, this thing might be overkill. This may seem totally wrong, but gaming routers are really designed for people with slower internet connections because slower internet connections can get eaten up more quickly, which result in high ping when you're playing your games. Let's say you're sharing a slow to medium internet connection between a few people, a gaming router like this could help you because you could use those priority ports or create a priority Wi-Fi or use the QoS to manage the speeds on the network and therefore mitigate all the ping spikes. But even if you've got a faster connection, a gigabit plus, this has the processing power to deal with that and all of the networking features you may need, as well as the AI mesh, which basically allows you to add any old existing Asus router that you have lying around or buy a new one and add it to this as basically a mesh point so you can create your own mesh Wi-Fi. These gaming routers are basically high-end features with a nice UI that make things simple to understand and they actually do work really well in 2025. If you have a slow to medium internet connection I would definitely consider a gaming router. Anyway guys my name's been Alex this has been Techflow and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.